Hi, I'm Diana. Welcome. In this series, I'm going to teach you how to create an abstract painting using the natural elements. I enjoy hiking, and on my hikes, I always find little treasures like bark, driftwood on a beach, seashells. Just make sure you dry these things before you apply them. Have little fun seashells, rocks, and things. So then when I get home, I decide to do a painting. I'm going to take you through all the way from blank canvas to a finished painting. You'll need to get some supplies. So I'll put a checklist on screen. Are you ready? Let's get started. So with the things that I've picked are very lightweight. So I will be able to use a canvas and that's what I'll be using throughout this. But if you found yourself something big or heavy, you might want to be using, which I'll show, a cradle board, they're called. So get yourself a cradle board if you have big rocks because they're, it's very sturdy. So, but today and all the way through, I'll be using the canvas. So the first thing I'd like to do when I look at my canvas, I've got this canvas from Opus and it's um, got two, two coats of gesso on it already, but I like to do just an extra one or one or two even if I'm doing um, an abstract painting. So gesso is um, an acrylic and it's a primer. So it'll allow things to grip a little longer. So let's get started. Just um, on, on this canvas, just, well, it looks like I'm getting a little low, but it should be enough. If you're brushing water. And on this canvas, it doesn't matter if there's streaks or, or anything because it's acrylic. We'll have a lot of um, different mixed medias on here. Wow, I really did a, a load of it. <laughs> Brush it all in. And this should um, dry fairly fast so we can carry on. I think I put too much, so I'll do the sides. Doesn't this look exciting? Now, do all the sides. And if I still have too much on there, I'm just going to take some off. Haven't got all day, you know. Okay. A little crossfire here. Like I said, you don't have to really worry about it. So put that in water and now we are looking at deciding where we're going to lay our um, elements down. So what I do is try to think about a focus point and I use the rule of thirds. So the rule of thirds, I, I just kind of guess, but some people like to really be accurate. So they get the measuring tape out and you do, you divide, this is 14 by 11, and you divide it by three. So I have worked that out. Well, this is drying. I guess I could still do it. Have a ruler, have your pencil. 
and you just mark guessing. Ooh, that's strong. It doesn't, like I said, it doesn't have to be totally right on um, point. And the reason I do this is everyone has a real um, automatic, they look at things, you know, and I always, in most of my abstracts, I always pick the lower half, so then I bring the eye up. So when I'm thinking about putting my elements on, I'll put my heaviest or my shiniest in in this this circle here. Sometimes people like to have it here and have the, the run up into there. It's up to you, but have your you need to have a focus point. Otherwise, if you're putting them here and there and everywhere, it's just where do you look? So it's it's kind of boring. So I've marked off on here where my center point is going to be. And my biggest piece that I'm um, wanting on here, I will place. We're just guessing now. We're playing, this is the fun part. Um, let's see, you can move it around. You totally just having a fun, this one's really cute because it's got all the little pieces, so you don't want to put it upside down. You want to show that. I'm going to have that there. So spending time figuring out where you want it, and, and this is actually still wet, so we're having a little time to play before we want to do it. So I will play with this and normally I like to have a, a person look to the center, like here you would see, this is my focal point and then your eye would go off the page, off the, so I have a whole bunch of little tiny ones here, so let's like that one let's put that one here this is as far as we're going to go today so you have some homework you're to get your canvas and your supplies oh and especially go out there and get your little treasures that you want to put on so homework canvas gesso placement and we'll see you back next time